Welcome back to another episode of 40 Facts About the 40k Universe. I am your host, Gershwin, and you are watching One Mind Syndicate. Today we continue talking about Nurgle as we get into the beasts of Nurgle. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. We post Warhammer 40k content every single day. And of course, if you have any suggestions, comment down below. Now, stay to the end of the video because we have a spe special message uh, for you guys. With that said, let's get into 40 Facts on the beasts of Nurgle. The Beast of Nurgle is a demonic beast in the service of the plague god Nurgle that is truly a horror on the battlefield. It has the soft, sticky, and molten body of a slug, webbed feet that flap uselessly, a face of writhing green tentacles, and a whiptail growth that bursts from its back and which wags constantly from side to side. The essence of mindless decay and horrid rot give him putrefied flesh. Beasts of Nurgle exemplify the Plague Lord's endless enthusiasm and excitement for forces of life and death. Thus, a beast delights in discovering new things and making new friends. When brought into real space, they act almost akin to curious and inquisitive pets, investigating anything and everything in sight, and spreading illness and rot everywhere they go. Immense slug-like monstrosities, beasts of Nurgle crawl across the ground on their bellies, weakly propelled by clawed flippers, leaving a layer of sticky slime in their wake. While slow, the beast is incapable in its advance, undeterred by all but the most fearsome of weapons, as relentless as the decay it embodies. Each is a nightmarish conglomeration of parts, with a lengthy neck holding a wide-eyed face of almost blissful idiocy. The gaping, tooth-filled mouth houses a lolling tongue dripping with saliva. Clusters of writhing tubes sprout from the beast's neck and back, each one spewing forth swarms of buzzing flies, clouds of vomit-induced gases, flesh-eating fluids capable of finding gaps in even the most secure of armor or other foul gifts. The beast of Nurgle is no less deadly than it is ugly, for its touch causes paralysis and its slimy secretions rot everything they cover. The very proximity of a beast is sufficient to kill small animals and plants and even larger creatures may age and decay in its presence. Indeed, the beast is the very embodiment of the universe's mindless decay. Despite its fearsome appearance and deadly attributes, the beast is an affectionate creature and behaves in all respects exactly like an over-friendly and easily excited puppy. It craves attention, greeting newcomers by slobbering all over them with its slimy tentacles. Once they get thoroughly worked up, they can rarely contain themselves and leave little piles of acrid slime in their wake. All this attention is not a problem to other creatures and servants of Nurgle, but tend to kill mortals rapidly. Unlike most demons, a beast kills not with rendering claws and ripping tentacles, but with a strange form of kindness. Victims are caressed, petted, and stroked with the demon's multiple tentacles, while the long tongue delivers slobbery and slimy licks. In very short order, the victim is sickened, infested, dissolved, and then crushed, ground under the beast's vast bulk. The beast, for its part, feels a touch of sadness at the inability of its now-dead friend to join in on the merriment, but quickly forgets about him as something new attracts his attention. Once the beast's new friend stops moving, its interest quickly shifts to another target, and in this way the creature excitedly and lovingly poisons and kills just about everything it touches. As the beast has only the most rudimentary sense of intelligence, it never anticipates the results of its boisterous behavior, and registers only a slight sense of disappointment as each new friend goes still and boring. A prime example of the destructive power of a beast of Nurgle can be found on the agri-world of Galbali III in Winterscale's realm in the Coronis Expanse. There, the province of Gamvedan suffered hundreds of casualties as a beast wandered about the farm fields, destroying crops, herd animals, and buildings. Seemingly unstoppable, it took the combined efforts of enforcers and local planetary militia units to finally destroy the demon. Even after death, however, its presence lingered as crops grew sticky and many fields had to be torched to the bedrock to remove the diseased corruption. Particularly favored beasts of Nurgle are sometimes chosen to become putrid demonic creatures known as rotflies and battleflies, massive demonic beasts in the form of putrid corpse flies. Rotflies serve as aerial mounts on the senior plague bearers of Nurgle, known as plague drones. 
And those were 40 facts on the beasts of Nurgle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's very interesting to see how Nurgle uh, is really the comedic relief when it comes to the Chaos Gods. And it's something that GW tends to do with um, just about every faction. They try to bring in humor to each faction, the most famous of which is definitely the Orc race. Um, because GW has created a future of just grim darkness, where everywhere you turn, there is war. Yet, on the battlefield, you have this group of green humanoid creatures that go around saying, boys, 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 boys. Um, they also paint things red, and they think that painting things red makes them go faster. It's supposed to bring laughter to the players, and it's supposed to keep the game, I guess, um, not so mundane and grim. Uh, and I really think that Nurgle, specifically the beasts of Nurgle, play this role. Within the Chaos Gods, you have Korn, who is the god of slaughter, skull, and blood. You have uh, Zinch, who is the god of deception and deceit. When you look at their artwork, it definitely uh, gives you a sense of fear. It's dark, it's chaotic. Uh, even Nurgle himself sometimes displays very chaotic, very scary um, iconography and artwork. Uh, because he does bring death and destruction in the form of plagues, uh, zombies. He even can infest an entire galaxy with Nurgle's rot. And you would see images of people's stomachs exploding, uh, gushing out putrid uh, stank, basically. Um, but at the same time, he has a creature that is going to lick you to death and give you AIDS. It's supposed to make you laugh. It's supposed to be funny. Uh, that's not to say that it's not scary or uh, it brings fear within you. Um, it's just a different type of fear. It's the same type of fear um, that comes from maybe, um, you know, coming really close to someone's hemorrhoids or seeing pictures of small holes it's it's a different fear it's a funny fear um and it's really interesting to to get that uh within the warhammer 40k universe especially with these beasts of nurgle which are supposed to be basically giant puppies that kill people by licking them and being nice to them um i just found that very very interesting but with that said, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, or whatever social media you guys use. Um, now, something um, interesting happened, I guess. Um, we announced the winners of the viewer, or sorry, the subscriber appreciation giveaway that we had last month. Uh, but two prizes were never claimed. And it's been like two or three weeks that we've had... Um, that video up notifying uh, those people but they never contacted us so we are giving those other two prizes away now instead of us doing this um, as another um, video uh, we're just going to choose commenters from before so the winner uh, so the two prizes are actually the reavers and then that uh, starter box set that comes with Nurgle uh, Marines and it also comes with uh, the Primaris Marines, which is why we wanted to do a Nurgle themed video. Uh, so hopefully uh, the winners are viewing this and are going to give us a, a, a call. Well, not a call. <laughs> you guys are going to message us on YouTube or Facebook and then we can give you guys the prizes. But anyways, uh, the winner for the starter set uh, is going to be this guy right here. Um, and then the winner for the Reavers Primaris Marines um, is going to be this guy right here. Or girls. I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, what you are you're just a youtube channel but anyways um make sure to definitely always check out our videos just to see if we announce things um unfortunately for those two winners uh from before uh you guys took too long to actually contact us and you guys never responded when we tried contacting you so um again for anybody who is watching and who is going to participate in future videos, uh, stay active. Uh, keep hitting us or keep checking your YouTube channel because if you do win, we will uh, try to contact you. And then, of course, you will um, miss out if you don't constantly watch our videos. Uh, if you guys want to support us on Patreon, feel free to do so. The link is down in the description. A simple dollar a month helps us create more videos. If you can't, we understand. Simply by liking, commenting, and sharing, it really helps out the channel. With that said, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. This is Gersh1 with One Mind Syndicate, signing out.